What's up YouTube? Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make 3D animation looks like this. This is very very simple to make it. So you are just need some AI Cosphere, Cube and so on. And here for the wood material I'm using from Blender Kit. So for you guys who want to have file exactly like this, you can join to be my patron link on description and also you can visit my Gumroad link on description. So before I continue to this tutorial video, feel free to subscribe. And thank you so much for you guys who are always supporting this channel. And now let's go move into the tutorial video. Alright, so guys, first of all that I'm gonna to do it. Alright, so guys, first of all that I'm gonna do is delete the light and this camera. And here we are, we have some these um a depot cube i'm gonna try to grab it up here and let's get make it more white something like that and after that just try to make it a little bit um, longer something like that maybe or this is too much i think so i'm gonna try to take it back a little bit like this and now we will add some cylinder in here for the cylinder i will just use and you can more increase into 100 if you want it for sure but here i'm gonna just using like a 50 and also you can use like set a smooth and I'm gonna do uh, sorry I'm gonna uh, rotate this one by clicking all right so guys I'm gonna uh, rotate this one by clicking R and then Y 90 so we have it here and now let's go uh, bring up here all right here we are and I'm gonna put exactly here duplicate by clicking um, alt D and then we have it here both and uh, control j for making this uh a group like together so on the one cylinder all right so guys now here we are i'm gonna try to um make it more a little bit not so big and maybe just something like that was okay and now we'll go into the add modifier we will add some boolean choose this cylinder all right if you already choose that one let's go into the apply and now we can delete this all right now set a smooth we can see this is doesn't look so good all right so don't forget um to save your file we will using some uh bevel we will using around 100 and for the um amount just using 0 0.01 all right it was cool i like it though so now we will add some a cube and just try to pull it up here for the cube and make it same size as this one and then we have to put it in this side because we want to make it looks like some a wood so we will put here not really bigger for the thickness we can try something like that and I'll go to array and we will um, add this one on y side around minus 4 Will be looks like that and we can duplicate this one and delete this also and we have to uh, we have to try to um put it here for the thickness we have uh, increased more something like that all right oh sorry guys i forget to uh, um, i forget to add some a uh, bevel here and also this one all right so here I will using 1.01 same as that one and also this one too I will using 0 0.01 and for the segment I will using 100 same as before all right so guys if you already something uh, if you already have a something like this we can uh, try I think do a little bit editing here all right that's cool so now we can grab it make it more close into this first object here all right that's cool so now we can duplicate this um this object by clicking alt d and grab it into the left side all right and another one we can put exactly like this here all right now we can block all of that duplicate move it into the right side which is here so now just do it same as before this is looks cool so now we will add something um interesting not really interesting that is just some a plan we will add some plan for the ground all right just make it a little bit bigger than the first object here and also we have it something like this and we will duplicate by clicking 
all d r y n i n t and we will put exactly here on the right side and we can duplicate again r x 90 sorry r y n 90 oh sorry r z n 90 my bad guys sorry so now we can put exactly here so it will be looks like this all right now we have a this is will be for a reflection and we will put some light exactly here on the right side all right so now let's get add some light but before that we have to go into the um scene we will uh using some cycles on a gpu we will using like just 10 will be okay all right so guys now we have it to take it down into uh 200 was okay that is no problem and we need to add some camera here sip a go into the camera and then now uh, we can choose it on the uh view sorry camera to the view this one choose it and we can move it with the camera um sorry i think i got a something a problem all right i forget to take it up so now here we are we have uh, some camera all right now we have to go into the camera and if you see the type if you see the type we are in a first perspective and we have to change it into the auto graphic so we have it something like this we have to move it a little bit like that and now we have to increase the auto graphic more wide maybe something like that was okay so we can put exactly here all right that's cool so now i'm gonna uh, try to hide that one first and make it longer oh sorry make it like wider than before all right something like that was cool so now i'm gonna try to take it back the plan where is that all right it's here so now we can go see into the viewport uh, city so now we have it here something like that and we will add some a uh, light we can try to grab it up make it more bigger and we have to we have to rotate by clicking r and putting this focus into this the first object which is the main object here this cube in the middle all right so now this is still looks dark and i'm gonna try to make it more dark will be looks like that and now bring back again choose this light and go up increase this light into 5000 it it can be okay for sure and now we can try to grab it up by clicking sip d and then we have to put it up here all right something like that and i need another one which is here right that's cool um but this is block the camera a little bit so it will be looks like that all right so guys now let's go into the scene back again using film and here for the exposure i will using like two will be more a little bit bright that's better that's really better all right so guys um now we can changing the light and using the ellipse can be just like a little bit uh, different and here for the spread i will i'm gonna do like this right just do it like that and we can try to increase Ah, uh, sorry decrease this one into the um 2000 will be looks like that that is looks bright and looks better and also we can try to uh, take it down but no we will are playing with this right all right so all right so guys after this we will playing with the materials we will use the um some wood and after that we will add some icosphere or uv spear all right so guys back again with me now i'm gonna try to add this material but i think for making this tutorial fast we will be using a blender kit all right here we are go to define materials and we will add some okay so guys now just click here we will add some wood just wait a few seconds for searching about this one all right guys the, uh, the blender kit already found it so now i'm gonna choose a uh, something that really looks interesting maybe this one so this is uh so this one will be for this main object all right so we can see how it was it's good or not for this object so we can check it all right that looks cool guys so now i'm gonna try to find it um something different maybe this one i'm gonna put here 
and we can see something different here. All right, that's cool. So now we can choose this also. We will using the same uh, wood sam as that one. All right, I really love it. I really love it. Oh, that's cool. So now we can um, try to uh, choose all of this because we still have some space here. Uh, also, we can try to keep it, but I think, yeah, better to keep it yet. So we can editing later for that. And now light, we already have it. And for the um, for this uh, for this object, it's already done. For make it like um, icosphere, like moving into this side like that, it's already done. So we can try to write this name into cube and camera. Will be like that. All right. So we can hide this one. All right, guys. So now I'm gonna add some a uh, icosphere. Zip a add some icosphere here so we have some icosphere i will just using like four here so i'm gonna set a smooth and all right so let's go back here into the solid and now let's go um choose the help of this just click like this blow up this all right that's cool so now we can go into the um into the material we already have some wood using f wood and after that we can click that choose the uh this icon plus click assign so you can see there's something different here all right now i'm gonna try to uh do some unwrap into this one oh sorry unwrap which is this one all right now it looks um now it looks uh better than before so now we have it uh, this object and add some a uh, new material let's go down and you can try to find some transmission and christensen berlin the up there and bring down the uh roughness and after that just try to bring up the metallic just a little bit like that and after that don't forget to uh take it down the alpha just like that all right so now we have to see this is that we have it now this is looks cool doesn't look so bad now we can try to bring uh, back all of this. All right, so this is what we have it now, and let's get and put this object here. I'm gonna try to grab it up here. Just try to take it small, and um, I want to make it this object like a little bit close into the um, right. This one, I'm gonna try to grab it into the side. And I want to duplicate by clicking um, Shift D. That one and one more. All right. So now we have it. Uh, wait, one more. All right, something like that. So now we have it. Don't forget to save your file for make sure that you didn't crash. Your computer didn't crash. All right. So now we have it. This. Um, object and i'm gonna try to uh sorry i'm gonna try to do uh rotate this one first go to the item uh but i have to see on this side i'm gonna try to move it um on the y so 180 so we'll be like that and now i'm gonna try to duplicate again all right so guys if you already um duplicate uh three three object here if you see this is some icosphere and we have it now first thing first that you have to do is just like um click n you can do some uh keyframe here or you can do it here but make sure uh make it like more easy for you guys you can click here so we'll not uh feel uh dizzy about that but here you can also do it like just move it here if you see this is working so now if you want to add some keyframe just very easy insert single keyframe so you can see the object was have some keyframe here and we can try to move it like that and just try again boom this is up to it's just like that all right so now i'm gonna i'm gonna go here if you see this is in the object just this uh just click this uh the first object 
click here and also on this one on the x side now we can move into 121 and here just like try 360 um asterisk 5 so it can be 1800 so it can be like that just click this icon again so now we have it and now we can move this object into this side just something like that all right and now we can click again so we can see as something interesting all right will be looks like that so now i'm gonna try to choose this one click this uh sorry click on the y side and then on the x side all right go into 121 and here 36 asterisk 5 or you can write it something like that was okay too so now we can move it just try to take it close something like that and now we can do it again all right and choose again to this one All right, just like that. Now we can see the animation, how it looks like. Wow, that is looks interesting, guys. If you see that, this is looks interesting. So it can be like that. Now we are in the um, viewport setting and we will go into the um, viewport setting display, uh, just like display uh, render. So this is why we have it while you are rendering this one. So this is looks cool and we can try to make it more more bright how it was it's very easy we can go down into the vim here for the exposure i'm gonna try to add into 1.5 can be more a little bit um bright than before and after that we can choose this light here i'm just uh using one light and i just want to have some um like you know a little bit shadow here if you see it doesn't look very um very bright but we can try to make it more bright here we can try into using a 2000 and then this is looks better though so this is why we have it and let's go back again here i want to make it more have some high contrast here so we can using like very high contrast so will be looks like that right so now we can try to check again how it was here boom that is looks interesting right so it can be moving and if you uploading on instagram you can have it something like this right it's very easy so by the way um all right so guys tutorial for today it's done and if you want to have file exactly like this you can join to be my patron link on description and also you can have it some motion graphic and also material and so on and that is a lot of benefit that you will get if you are joined to be my patron i will put a link on description and so you can try to explore about what i have there and also you can try to um open gumroad link down below and you can try some some free file there and i will put some free file and so on and by the way i have a something for you guys i have some free materials on patreon you can click link down below and also on gumroad Alright, so guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Georgia is here. See you in the next video.